in our next example, we're going to look at a situation where we don't have the possibility of E2 and SN2 competition. Okay, so we have here a uh, 3-bromo, three 3-methyl three pentane, and we're going to react it with strong nucleophile. So here is the deal. We've got a strong nucleophile, which is going to tell us that we're doing a second-order reaction like SN2, but we have a tertiary alkyl halide, which can't do SN2 ever because there's too much steric hindrance. Now, a nucleophile can't get its way into a tertiary carbocation to attack. So there's going to be no SN2 because of the tertiary alkyl halide. And again, we're not going to be doing SN1 because we have a strong nucleophile. This strong nucleophile is only going to react by SN2, but there's going to be no SN2 reaction with a tertiary alkyl halide. So there's just no SN at all. There's no nucleophilic substitution. All we can do is elimination. Looking again, what we do with elimination is abstract a hydrogen from a carbon adjacent to the carbon holding the leaving group. Here's the carbon with the leaving group. Here's an adjacent carbon. It's got three hydrogens. Here's an adjacent carbon. It's got two hydrogen. Here's another adjacent carbon. It is identical to this one. If we pull off one of these hydrogen atoms right here, we're going to form a double bond right here in this spot. Oh, that was just an all-around mistake. We'll try that one again. If we pull a hydrogen off here, we're going to form a double bond in this spot and knock off the leaving group, which is what I was almost drawing there. So we get that. If we pull off one of these hydrogen atoms, we are going to put a double bond in this spot, knock off the leaving group, like that. And we always have to keep in mind the possibility or the, the existence of cis and, cis and trans isomers. So we've got that. Of these three products, the first is the least substituted, so it is the minor. The second two are the major. And in Chapter 7, we'll learn how to identify which of those is more major than the other. And this is the end of this section on the E2 reaction. We still have one more section to go. I'm looking at some stereospecificity of E2. It takes some time to write yourself at least one study question and a little summary if you can come up with one for this section.